Hey guys, Scott here with Everyday Home Repairs. Out in the yard doing a little work, uh, trimming up with the weed eater. Here, this is a steel FS55R and just uh, came across a little bit of a snag. So that snag is ran out of trimmer string. So what I'm gonna do is show you two different ways to reload the trimmer string in this auto, coat, uh, auto cut head. And this is actually the C25-2. I'll show you that way. Uh, but I'll also show you the way that works for the 25-2, the just the normal auto cut head. Stay tuned. All right, so we got the auto cut C25-2 uh, string trimmer head here. We still have the leftover uh, one side of the line, the other is fully out. So what I'm gonna do is, I just wanna open this up so I can remove that line. Uh, there are little tabs here that you can either use your thumb and kind of push in and then pull the cover out. Or if, uh, if it's not working out for you, you can also um, get a flathead screwdriver and push in there. They have both methods. All right, so you remove the cover and then the center uh, piece here is gonna wanna come out uh, because it is spring loaded in there. Okay, so you can see one side totally out and then just a little bit left in. So I'm gonna take that out. All right, so the first method we're gonna do, use the feature of this C 25-2 and that is to just load it from the outside. So I'm just going to put this back in and then put the cover back on matching up the two little tabs here. Okay, so now we're gonna load the first method, and this is loading in the, the string from the outside. This works if you have this type of head. So remember, this is the C25-2. And if you just have a cylinder, just a flat cylinder look for this little bump, uh, bump stop, which pushes out the string when you bump it on the ground, you're, it's not gonna, this method is not gonna work. You have to have the C version of the 25-2. Um, the string I am using is 0 0.105 thickness. And because of that, I'm using a total length of 24 feet, which will make 12 on each side. If you were using um, a 0 0.095, a thinner thickness, you could go with 16 feet on either side or 32 uh, total. Okay, so I'll show you uh, one. We're gonna need to make sure that this isn't misaligned. Make sure you see this line arrow lined up with the circle. So you need to have that lined up and then that's gonna make it so you can uh, push the strimmer t string into the hole. All right, so we have the one side. So I'll take the one end And you kind of got to move it around a little bit. What you're going to feel is a little resistance when it's going into the hole correctly. All right, so that one's in. Now you'll take the other end of your 24 feet. Don't have to worry about cutting it yet. And then you'll put it same way. You'll just push it into the other side. Okay. And then what you're going to want to do is rotate uh, clockwise. And then this will start feeding the line into the head. It's gonna take a little while. Okay. That's it, it doesn't matter uh, if it's uneven. So you're gonna go for about five inches, but when you, when you start this up, um, you, you usually on your guard have a little uh, steel cutter here. So that will, that will cut your string uh, to your overall five inches. So it's the correct length. 
All right, so that is method one. Uh, that is the preferred method for the C25-2. Super easy, uh, especially when you get the, the any of the old string out. Now let's move on to method number two. All right, on to method number two. And this one's gonna be more common. Uh, this is the way you've lo uh, loaded string into a, a weed eater or a string trimmer head for a long time. So same thing, uh, you can either, if your plate here isn't kind of stuck on, usually you can use your thumbs and push it in and remove that out. If not, there's usually a flathead uh, screwdriver right there, a little slot for the flathead screwdriver to push in, which will help you. All right, you can take that plate off, set that off to the side, but also make it uh, so you can easily reach it. Okay. So now we're fully empty. What I'm gonna do is load this top part first. So this time, uh, same thickness string, right? So I'm using 12 feet on both sides. So I did cut it ahead of time. And what I will do is put in the string into one of these holes. And that's gonna make it so we can get started. And then you will see the sun's kind of making that a little bit tough to see. There's an arrow there, which tells you which direction uh, to wind the string. So in this case, I will be winding it in this direction. So you want to wind it nice and tight. Um, what I do is I try not to overlap at the start, so I kind of try to line it up there. So going from left to right, then from right to left getting a nice roll. And you should be able to easily fit all 12 feet of this onto the, the one slot. So this will be the first slot of two. All right, getting close. And then what I will do is take that and then there's this little notch here. So that's gonna hold that string nice and tight. If you don't do that, all that hard work you just did will completely unravel and you'll get to start over. Okay, so the second side now. Okay, so we got our top done. Now, um, I usually, if I use here, I'm usually gonna start opposite. right here and then seat the string into the little hole there and again you're going to want to confirm that the arrow that you're going in the correct direction and then same thing nice and tight not overlapping trying to lay it right beside it obviously this isn't going to be perfect but you're gonna do the best you can. All right. The first method overall is quite a bit easier. You'll see coming up, it takes a little bit of order of operation and the spring gives you a little bit of a hard time getting that back in the head. All right, finish this up. I would leave yourself, again, a generous five inches. Same thing, right? And this is gonna be opposite now. So when you set this in, those are gonna be opposite each other. Okay, so now when you put this back within the head, you want to line up these little holders with the outside holes. And then I would do the bottom one first so undo the bottom one and seat that within the outside head, keeping, uh, pushing on that spring so it doesn't pop up. This is kind of that part that can get a little tricky if you don't watch out. So I'd push it pretty aggressively down, kind of bottom it out, and then start that one on the other hole. Now you gotta get your plate. Keep the pressure on, pass your thumb through the plate so you can switch hands. And then while you're doing that, you kind of line things up. 
don't let go yet. Make sure the plate's fully locked in, and there you go. Now what you can do is pull on both sides. You should feel resistance. If it pulls, pulls out, you, something's wrong. Um, you're probably going to need to start back over and make sure you have everything lined up, rotated in the correct direction. That's it. So those are the two different methods uh, for loading the string into the AutoCut uh, C25-2 head. Well, hopefully that helped you out and will help you get the string back in that head. Uh, pretty easy, the two different methods. If you do have the C, it's gonna be a lot easier to load it from the outside and then everything's gonna line up a little bit better uh, because that's truly what it's designed uh, to do. So let me know if I missed anything in the comments. Go ahead and ask your questions. I'll, I'll jump right in and help you out and then others as well. Now that's where some of the best content comes as this uh, video is out there for longer. Uh, especially if anything was missed. So let me know if you guys like these type of videos. Go ahead and give me a like uh, and also sub subscribe to the channel. We'll keep bringing you more videos. Uh, but for now, I got to get back to work. Thanks for joining.